Hey there everyone, this is Gala from Outline Planner. I am thrilled to show you the 2024 Digital Planner for GoodNotes and NoteShelf. If you have used the 2023 version, you will see there are not differences between them, so you already are familiar with the structure. However, if you are new to the, my Outline Planners, check this video to see how it works. In this video, I'm going to show you the navigation, then the planner pages and the additional pages that you will find inside. The outline planner is a yearly, monthly, weekly and daily planner. It has a vertical navigation that includes links to the yearly calendar, the monthly pages, the goal setting plan, the extra templates, just like it also includes links to seven built-in notebooks where you can take additional notes. You first start with the 2024 calendar, which is this one, and you have links to the weekly pages or the daily pages straight from this page. You can also move to the monthly page by tapping these links here, the green tabs, and if you choose a month, you will see the calendar view of that month with links to weekly and daily pages. So choose any week and you will see the weekly planning page and then you can choose any day and you will see the daily planning page. This is how the planner works. It has a very, very easy navigation throughout the levels. But now I want to show you level by level what pages you have inside. The first level is the yearly pages. The yearly pages include the 2024 calendar, but also you have links to a 2025 calendar and a 2026 calendar. Each of those last two calendars come with some notes pages so that whenever you make plans for the years ahead, you can take your notes here and when the time comes, you can transfer those notes to the new planner. On the yearly level, you have here the plans where you can set up your goals, your next goals and then the milestones you have to accomplish, the actions to complete and the results. The master plan comes with the events page as well and you have the monthly sections and in each month you can add what events are important for that month just as well as this section here where you can track recurring events the tasks page with the weekly tasks the monthly tasks yearly tasks and other tasks you are going to focus on in 2024. In the monthly pages, you have the monthly calendar view with the calendar that fills in almost the entire page. Still, you have some space to track your focus and take some additional notes right here below. The calendar comes with links, links to the weekly pages and the daily page. I'm saying weekly pages because this planner uses two types of weekly pages, the weekly planner page and the weekly grid page. Let's go back to March and let's see a day as well. Just like that, you jump from a month to a day or a month to a week. But there are more pages on the monthly level. You see them here. Basically, you have the money section for that month, the tracker section for that month with links to the daily planning pages, the one win a day for that month again with links to the daily pages and then you have a page to review the progress through that month. You see that here on the top navigation you also have a, an additional navigation and this will basically um, direct you to the same section but on a different month. So if you're reviewing your March, you can also jump to January to see how it went or you can go to August to track your review. You can do the same for monthly 
for money pages, jump from month to month within that section. And you can also do it for tracker, one win a day and the review. Now let's move on to the weekly pages. Just as I showed you, you can access the weekly pages from this section or you can access them from the 2024 calendar right here next to the week's number. So I'm going to go to the weekly planning page and you can see here on top of the page you have two icons, the weekly grid page and the weekly planning page, this one comes with links to the daily pages and you see here under each day that you have the number which is linked to the daily planning page and then uh, three additional icons and those three additional icons are for simple notes pages one of them a diary and a work page but i'm going to show them later throughout the video this is the grid for the week so you can quickly jump between one page and another to see your events and then to see your priorities for that week. Again, you can always go back to the monthly page here and choose to jump back to the weekly from this section. Let's go to the grid one. Also on the grid page, you will see uh, links to the daily pages and these are fully functional. You can use them as you like. Just like on the monthly pages, I have additional weekly pages and you will find them here. You see how this horizontal navigation extends to the left side. So the first four icons are the monthly pages I just showed you, followed by the three icons for the week. And you have the monthly meal plan, oh, sorry, and you have the weekly meal plan here you have the weekly ideas to brain dump everything. I usually use this page as a clean sheet whenever I start my week. I brain dump everything here and then after that I start prioritizing in my weekly page. And then I have the weekly results page which is a review page just like you have the monthly review page. You can always go back to the weekly planning page or the weekly grid page following these tabs here, this one or this one. The meal plan, you have the days here and these days are linked to the daily planning pages. Now, because we, we finished with the weekly level, let me introduce you the daily level. The daily level comes just like the other levels with extra pages. Yes, you have this planning page that is linked to the calendar here, to the monthly calendar or to the yearly calendar, just like that, or it's linked to the weekly pages like this, or the grid weekly page like this, or you can also access this page when you are in the yearly tracking page, just click this, or when you are in the win a day page, just click this. So you see there are many ways you can get to the daily page if you're going to use it. And apart from this planning page, you also have three additional pages to take notes on a daily level. Look back to this navigation, the horizontal navigation. I have three additional icons and these three icons are just four days. So you have the work day right here with focus, people and tasks and enough space to track your notes. And then you have a diary with pre-filled prompts for uh, today's intentions, lessons learned, daily routine, um, how you celebrate your wins and then you have evening check-in with yourself, how you'll create your amazing tomorrow and daily affirmation. 
Then you have an extra page and this is the last page on a daily level which is a simple notes page. You can always go back to the daily planning page so that's the page with the schedule by clicking this title. So whenever you are on a daily page, whether it's work, whether it's diary or it's the notes page, you can always click the date or in this case Friday February 9 and you will be directed to the daily planning page that includes the schedule right here on the left, the top three wins tracking right here on top and pretty much a lot of space to take notes. From these pages you can always go back to the weekly pages by tapping these tabs here or by tapping the navigation, the horizontal navigation icons right here. Now let me show you how I group the pages just in case you want to add more pages inside your planner. So I have grouped the levels into individual groups. What I'm trying to say is that, for example, the monthly pages are all grouped together, just like this. All 12 of them are here and you can always add pages in between those um, calendar pages or you can leave it as they are. The same approach is used for the weekly pages, so they are all grouped together. You can always slide between the, the, them and see them all at once. If you're new to the outline planner, you should know that inside this planner there are a few templates and you can access those extra templates from the extra menu right here. You have notes templates right here, you have meeting templates, you have project templates, you have social media templates, you have health, personal and to-do. So let's say you're interested in some to-dos. Once you click that section, you will be directed to the page, the index page for the section, where you have some thumbnails illustrating the types of templates that I have inside. So for example, you want to have this to-do page on a monthly level and what you can do is copy the page. I'm using NoteShelf 3 at the moment and then you go to a, a monthly page, insert from clipboard to paste it and after the monthly page you have your to-do page. What's interesting about this built-in templates is that you still have this navigation here on the right side of the screen and this navigation is working. Look, I'm going to go to May and it's working. So you can do this with every single of these templates you find inside the extra section. Lastly, let me show you the seven built-in notebooks. A notebook is pretty much a section where you can put down the title and list the categories to track information. Every single of these categories, there are 12 for each notebook, are linked to some notes pages. This can bring you some ideas on how to take notes inside the notebooks, but just so you know, you can't move the information from these notebooks from one year to another. So I suggest to use them for temporary information that you don't need throughout the years. So this is it about the 2024 Outline Planner. I'm going to launch it in September 7, 2023 after purchase, you will receive an email with the link to download your planner. Keep in mind that this planner is just the portrait view of the planner with uh, light background pages. But in my shop, I have the outline planner in all versions. So when you purchase on outlineplanner.com, your 2024 outline planner, you will get a zip file with all those planners, all those versions. You will have to download the zip file on your iPad, unzip it and then pick the right PDF file to import in GoodNotes 
note shelf or notability. Thank you. If you have questions, please let them in the comments below.